when Vegan Games uh, taped his... Wait, v well, he didn't actually tape the heart attack. He wanted to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to, yeah. But I think his mom stopped him still. That guy is... That, guy, that, that guy's something special. Dude. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> He's something special. You watch his videos? I, whenever I see it in the recommendations, I don't know why they recommend it, but I'll watch it. You know what I'm saying? It's vegan Games versus whoever, Furious Pete. Oh yeah. Um, Honestly, I don't, the reason why I don't, oh, I don't mind his videos is because all the people who are so pissed at him and they hate him for his videos are the same ones who support him the most. Exactly, yeah. Right. So I'm like, why you? Why would you hate him if you watch all of his videos? It's true. Right? Right, but the thing about it is such, there's such a shock value to it. Like, when you think that he can't do anything worse, he just one-ups himself. Like, and it's just, to me, it's just crazy. Like, I would never think someone can actually do that. And in that predicament thing, oh my God, let me go grab my camera to see what a media yeah. is. Like that, to me, that's kind of messed up, right? So, I don't know, it is what it is. What it is. You know what? He's a YouTuber. And the man lives in Toronto. Well, he lives in Scarborough. He does. Actually. He, oh, Scarborough? Okay, okay. Yeah, Scarborough. Yeah, yeah, I know that he lives in Toronto. He went to the Pro Show. And, you know, oh, yeah, he was I saw that video, too. <laughs> yeah, when he was... Uh, but he's he huge now. Uh, Lex, like, yeah. He's huge now. Holy. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy's channel blew exactly. up, yeah, But it's just because of the shock value. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, like, people are so, like, mind-blown by what the content that he's putting up. Right? And Mike Rasheed made a good point. Like... What you bring out is what you get back in the world. You know what I'm exactly. saying? So if you're getting a lot of hate and a lot of like back home and stuff like that, that's what you're putting out to the world, right? So, so except for me, I'm an exception yeah. because I got so much hate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the thing about it, usually <laughs> channels, the first thing they get is hate. Yeah, like, exactly. A lot, a lot of channels, exactly. right? Especially when like one little thing goes wrong. So many channels, the first thing I hey, a lot of people forget that Chris Jones was hated, right? You he what? I didn't see him from the beginning. Yeah. Eh? No, no. I'm saying like way back in the day when, especially when um. He did that whole bodybuilding contest versus Matt Ogus that yeah. he dropped out. I don't know last minute or whatever the case was, but he got a lot of hate for a lot of hate for that. He was known as Quit Jones, all that stuff. Dang. And eventually he turned it around. You know what I'm saying? He has a, another successful channel, and he was able to kind of get back on track. But then all the hate went to Vince G. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he kept 10, it permanently, dude. bro. Time, times ten. And he, it was Vince, he, he disabled the comments and likes off his videos finally. Exactly. Exactly, oh man! Yeah. Honestly, my honest opinion, I think he just needs to quit. YouTube, man. Yeah, he needs I, to like, quit still. I, that, that's just my honest opinion. Kind of, I supported the guy, but just kind of the moves that he's making and stuff like that, it's just he's not thinking about it, man. And I YouTube, know. it's obviously you want to put out good content, but you got to think of it as once you get that big, it's a business too, right? And you got to be very professional in exactly. how you um, operate, you know. So. I, I just think he needs to quit, honestly, man. I think he, I think he might one day. I Maybe think he might knows, just stop uploading. Knows, trust knows, me, man. Like, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. There's been a lot of flack, and he just keeps making bad move after bad move. And it's hard to support someone after they're making moves like that. You know what I'm saying? Trying to buy the channel, um, calling out Chris on all this crap that he's done. Chris never did anything until he kind of. Uh, made that video calling True. out Chris and saying, oh, well, you didn't come to work out with me and shit like that. And it was whack, man. Hopefully all that stuff can kind of go behind and um, you can kind of look at other YouTubers and stuff like that and um, see their good content. Cause there's a lot, a lot of good YouTubers with good content, man. Trent Thorne Size is one of them. Exactly. You know, one of them, yeah, man. man. A, lot of, a lot of good men. I, I, I try to stay out of trouble with no beef exactly, with anybody. Exactly. I don't talk no, no, shit true. about anybody. It's true. That's the, that's the best way to kind of um, go through YouTube. It's just to kind of um, stay in your own lane, know your niche, know who supports you, um, and stay loyal to your fans, man. That's really all you have to focus on. All it's, I do, it's, man. It's, it's just the people who support. You. It's a family. It's not even fans. Like it's kind of weird calling it fans. That's that's why, that's why I say it's a family, family bro. Thing. That's you why I say it, like I've seen I've seen Simon for a while, and the first time we met, it was just, it was nothing. It was you like, oh, this is my fan exactly, right here. Right? You, you know, know what I'm he's helping so me record. I'm like, no, it man. wasn't like that. It's just a family thing, right? So as long as you keep it close with the people that support you, then that's what's gonna take you to the top. That's what you do, bro. It is what it is, man.